Welcome to Roma and welcome to Sapienza. Uh, first of all, I am uh, very interested in how it every everything started uh, about uh, your feeling with dinosaurs. Well, your first time you met a dinosaur. I was born this way. Um, I've liked paleontology since I was a young boy, and I was born and raised in Montana, mm. which is a good place to find dinosaurs. So my first, I found my first dinosaur bone when I was eight years old, and I found my first dinosaur skeleton when I was 13. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been looking for them ever since. <laughs> oh, yes. I can imagine that it was. And then uh, you became a paleontologist and suddenly you, you have been part of the uh, a revolution in the 70s about mm -hmm. the dinosaurs. The, the new vision on dinosaurs, uh, your discoveries are part of this revolution, isn't it? Well, I guess they are. <laughs> Maya Saura we, and... Uh, we, we are doing, you know, I think over the last 30 or 40 years we've done a, we've, we have found many more dinosaurs and when I was, when I was young, um, you know, people didn't think dinosaurs were interesting because, because they thought they were just reptilian, cold-blooded, uh, just wandering around looking for a place to go extinct. Mm. And, and when we discovered baby dinosaurs and that they were cared for by their, you know, by their parents, um, and John Ostrom began talking about um, the, the association with birds, um, it changed the way people, it really, it was a paradigm shift. And now we know that that dinosaurs not only uh, gave rise to birds, but were actually more bird-like than reptile-like. Yeah. All the illustrations now are bird-like exactly. dinosaurs. Yes. And you were part also of the popularizing uh, <laughs> wave of dinosaurs that uh, Jurassic Park is. Right. Uh, what about your meeting with uh, Crichton or with uh, Spielberg? I, I didn't meet Michael Crichton until we were in the limousine going to the premiere of the movie. <laughs> but he had read one of my books and, and, uh, and he based his character Alan Grant on on the Mayasora discoveries and so Steven Spielberg called me up and asked me if I would advise on the movie mm. and it's it's been a good experience although you know Steven Spielberg made his movie the way he wanted to not the way I wanted to ah. Okay. <laughs> I, it's always like that. Yes, I think yes. uh, the the to be in balance within. Uh, 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 but uh, another thing: what are you busy with a lot of projects? I think now. Uh, let's talk about a little bit of this your project now. Well, I have a number of projects now. I'm I'm working with a lot of my former students. Um, um, doing a lot of research on ontogeny, dinosaur ontogeny. Uh, and then I also have a laboratory where we're trying to make a dinosaur genetically, yeah. genetically modify birds to make dinosaurs. And I also also have some, uh, some educational projects now to, to show uh, the general public how far paleontology has advanced and how we use modern technology to to determine even the colors of dinosaurs mm -hmm. yes the colors is a really interesting topic it's part of the fantasy part section of the paleo illustrators and uh, are you in related uh, in project with paleo illustrations or computer graphics something uh, exhibitions in the world yes yes i um we're building a exhibition um, to, to actually use holograms mm. to show how we, how we bring all of our high-tech information together to, to actually show what dinosaurs look like. And they're completely different than we see in Jurassic Park. Mm. Completely. 
and it, um, it's a very fascinating, really. And there is some mm, topic you should uh, investigate that you didn't uh, already, or uh, something new that you want to uh, discover about dinosaurs, some topic that you, you're still in your mind to say, I'm going to find the solution of this topic, on this problem. No, I, I try to look at science differently. Um, I have never gone looking for a particular thing. Mm. What I try to do is keep an open mind so that, so that hopefully I don't miss anything. But, you know, we, we can't go out looking for a particular kind of dinosaur. I tried that once. I went out into the Hell Creek Formation of Montana hoping to find duckbill dinosaurs mm. because I wanted to know about their growth. And all I found were T-Rexes. So I had to study T-Rex, yeah. which is not my favorite dinosaur. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, do you have some kind of dinosaurs that you are really you feel uh, related with, uh, your favorite uh, animal? No. My favorite dinosaur is Myasaura. Well, it's, um, okay. it's one. It's a the first dinosaur I named. But the reason that it's my favorite is because it's the dinosaur we know the most about. We have its eggs, nests, embryos, entire growth series. We've got more skeletons of them than any other dinosaur. We have thousands of them. Mm -hmm. uh, we have their footprints. We have their skin impressions. Uh, we have their 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 fossil feces, their their dung. I mean, we we know what they ate. We we know their growth rates. We know their population structure. We know so much, and yet we continue to learn about them. So yeah. it's my favorite because it's the best known. I remember when I read the the papers about the Maya Sauer. It's uh, just like a, an open window or an open door on the, the late Cretaceous time. Yes. It was fantastic. Ecology, ecology. Mm -hmm. And yes. so I think it's a really interesting thing. And I, I'm, go I'm sure you are going to know more and more in the in next future because you're still- I here. hope so. Yeah. And I also was impressed by little carnivores uh, going around the nest to try to find someone. It's a mm -hmm. uh, new discoveries about also small carnivores uh, in the same area. Um, the small carnivores are, are rare, but the, it's called Troodon mm -hmm. and a very special dinosaur, probably you know one of the dinosaurs very closely related to birds. Also probably one of the, it, it has the largest brain to body ratio so yeah. a very intelligent yeah, yeah. so thank you so much uh, and I, I, i'm very glad to meet you here it's <laughs> something important to me too it is a pleasure to be here in rome thank you benvenuto welcome mm -hmm.